There's a piece by Annie Rahani Rautavara, who is a legendary Finnish composer who passed away a few years ago. It was the piece that he wrote last. It was left unfinished by a little bit. It's called Two Serenades, Deux Serenades, and the first one is um, for my love, and the second is for life. So, pour mon amour and pour la vie. And these pieces were written for me and Miko Frank as part of a commission that was never finalized. It was discussed, but never put in writing um, for the Orchestre Philharmonique de Radio France. I had a residency with them. And as part of it, I had asked Miko if he might consider commissioning Rautavara to write another violin concerto. One piece that we'd done together had been the violin concerto. It was phenomenal. I learned it for that because Miko Frank and Rautavara were musical soulmates. They completely understood each other. Miko did all of the composer's work. Um, they even co-wrote a book on life and art, and um, it was a bestseller in Finland. And they were just really, if, if you talk about found family, my impression is that they were really found family for each other. So I, yeah, I asked Miko and he said, ah, and your honey is not in good health. I don't know if it's a good time to bring something up, but I'll see him soon. If it's good, I'll talk to him about it. And I never heard back, so I assumed that that was it, um, that the composer's health wouldn't allow him to write this piece. And um, a while after that, I heard that uh, Rautavara had passed away. And I got a call from Miko, who said, you know that piece that I talked to Annie Rohani about? I was like, you talked to him about it? Um, and, and Miko said, yeah, we talked about the concerto, and he didn't want to write another concerto. He wanted to write a couple of serenades. But after the funeral, Rautavara's widow took Miko into Rautavara's study and showed him this incomplete manuscript. And he said, it's our piece. He wrote, a, he wrote our piece. I had no idea. Um, when shall we play it? <laughs> and we, we booked it into the, the residency. Because we knew it was our piece because Rautavara only ever titled things in Finnish and English, but this was titled in Finnish and French. So for Radio France, the orchestra, and it was the serenades, the two serenades for violin and orchestra. The violin part was all written. The orchestra part was written out through the first serenade and the first half of the second serenade. It was sketched for the remainder of the serenade. And you can see in the score where the orchestration ends. That's the last work that he did on it. Miko hired or commissioned uh, Kalevi Aho, a, Protégé of Rautavara, very, very close with the composer as well, very, another composer who's very close with Rautavara. Kalevi knew how to orchestrate Rautavara's sketches and completed the piece, which we then premiered in Paris. And at the premiere, there was a feeling of... I, I was very aware of this, and although we never said it out loud, I think everyone was aware of this. This was a great composer's final work, seeing the light of day. So it was like a beginning and an ending with every note. Every note was the last new version of that note that would be heard by him. So it was completing it, but as every note was played, it was born. So it was an ending and a beginning. And I felt like we proceeded through the piece with this constant awareness and this feeling that the moment, each moment was really special. And at the end, Miko lifted the score up to acknowledge the composer, and we took our bows and we went off stage.